three, two, one. Hey guys, so right now we are shooting this. It's the recap of the seminar in Portugal. We're in London. I noticed it's sunny, not cloudy. Yeah, I know. They, they, oh, you know, they, they don't trust the Brits with anything. Like they always say, like the weather is crappy in London. So we have jeans on. We bought sweatshirts, ready for the cold weather. And again, we're getting in the 70 plus degrees and everything. So we're squinting. We are like hoping for cold in Europe. Yeah. I don't know if the we heat wave is rain. following us. Are we following up? Right. But, you know, following the heat wave. But Jesus, it doesn't want to let up. The sun does not want to let up. You can't trust the Brits with anything. Just because even London doesn't have crappy weather. Yeah, Charlotte is not happy. But just saying. So recap about the Portugal. Portugal. That was actually cool. I liked it. It, it was different from uh, from Utrecht. Utrecht. Yeah. Um, less coaches. I mean, they were all all coaches, but there was also a lot of athletes. Right. I would say uh, in between Utrecht and Germany. Germany had a lot of athletes. Utrecht is mostly like uh, coaches and gym owners. This one was kind of in between. Yeah, yeah, we had uh, some cool coaches. Though. There was a couple that were going for their PhD in yep. strength and conditioning and they wanted more information. And yep. she was kind of concerned about going for her PhD yes. and basically fighting everything that they've been told for generations in Portugal. So. She was trying to ask us and guidance, and I was like, you have to fight the system. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the point was, we lay down the principles, right. and we came down to certain conclusions, and we're asking people to see if the conclusions they come up with are the same as the ones we came up with. Right. And so far, it has been. But so, the entire time, really, I was telling them, like, look, those are the principles I based my opinions on. Do you disagree with the principles? No. Do you disagree with the following logic of it? No. Therefore, there we go. That was really. But so a lot of them, by day two, were, I would say, convinced we were right. And so after that, yeah. the questions were more like, okay, so now what? Well, I think the first day we had an argument. I think we went over the schedule because you kept arguing for two hours. <laughs> well, okay, I, I wasn't arguing for two hours. They were asking me questions for two hours. So I kept inserting the questions. Well, yeah, but I kept reverting back to the same thing. It, it yeah, was almost like guy, disbelief. Yeah. It was a it yes, was it was. Oh, it totally was. Like it was a, really the argument was it was about external rotation and everything. But the argument really was faith versus science. Right. I was like I was trying to explain the point, explain the principle. And the guy was like, but but that's not what they say. That's really what this was. Yeah. yeah, but they don't say that. I was like, I know. I've been saying that for a long time. That's not what they say. But this is why I think I'm right. And that was the argument. In that case, it was an uh, argument about crossing. CrossFit and external rotation, and right. really was less an argument of whether I think he believed I was right about the internal rotation. He just could not bring himself up to the point where to say CrossFit was, was wrong on that one. But right. Coach Bergener, I uh, cha changed his mind on that, and right. I, I think that's what we're going to do a lot of at first is uh, challenging the certain common conceptions of things that I think are wrong right and it's gonna be a lot of conversation about that just like those PhDs like they, they were like okay so now what yeah exactly how, how do we go about it how do we start changing how do we go about <laughs> it? that's a good question how do we go about it we uh, we keep talking about the why and the how yeah and then we move forward right it's good we had a guy that was a lawyer had no oh that was awesome knowledge no coaching no anything so he had he actually had really good questions, you know, it was just yeah. a common person wanting to know how to go but to the gym. It was common sense questions. Yeah. How do I do it? Yeah, it was right. cool. Just so he can go to the gym by himself and, yep. and train and not get hurt. And train correctly. So I think that's that, that's truly hitting, starting to hit the mass population is how can I just go to a Globo gym or my yeah. house or do a push up and not get hurt? Because I think yes. that's... How do I train correctly right. without the coaches around, without the CrossFit gym around, without... Yeah without all the people on they were like well those are the principles but and right. that guy he that he started puking after the rope rolls yeah and then he had to go through the overhead carry and then and uh then the, the sandbag carry and then the, all the sleds and everything he, he puked and on the so drag he's like hey so can i drag you and i was like you want me i was like you could have asked any girl that weighs like <laughs> probably a good 60 kilos less and you're asking me and he goes well, I figured you're going to be yelling at me. I might as well be watching you as you yell. So uh, he dragged me and then I, I, I yelled at him. Quite that guy died so he bad. He did good. He did oh good. Oh my God, yeah. He came the next day. He was wrecked, but he was awesome. Like, he, yeah. he never quit, by the way. He never, no. Yeah. Well, he awesome. wanted to. He wanted, but and he I was did like, it. you have another. And he just kind of looked at me and he shook his head. And I said, no, you have to do it. You can't quit. And, and he, he did it. And yeah, <laughs> yeah, but he did it, though. I thought it was awesome. Like, yeah. we pushed him hard because he was dying from the get go. It was awesome. Yeah. Cool guy. Yeah, he, a lawyer. He lives in, I mean, he's going to move to Sintra, but. Uh, lives in France and he came to the seminar just for them, right. just to learn the system. Because same story as usual, he's been training on his own and being uh, 
getting hurt, shoulder, or back problem. Right. And he wants to fix it. So he just came to the seminar to learn yeah. on how to fix it. So we're starting to have more and more people outside of CrossFit. Right. PTs, people that just want to come and just learn how to move right. correctly. We had that one guy that was a... Uh he was an engineer or something. He kept trying to go into yeah, positions yeah, and was. levers. And I'm like, well, yeah, but it depends. He, uh, he he tried to correct me on the on the landmine row because my elbow was going a little bit further out. And I was like, I have lats. Like, there's only so much I can do. Yeah. But the structure That's, is built differently, yeah, so you have to look to at the go. athlete, and yeah. from there you do the bit. The, you define how it should be moved correctly. But it's again, we go back to the same thing. Like they just want methods. They, right. They want to sell all. Yeah. Everybody fits the same mold kind of method, and then ha like I wonder if it's a need for controlling people, but they, they need a method because they need to know where they're going. They need they need to be simple. It's not right. simple. Yeah. There are principles in place, and you have to understand the principle, and then after that, you make up your own method based on that. But yeah. adapt I think, it to what you need, not I think what they the tell you. Coaches just want the quick turnaround of here's a six week program to have abs, yeah. and that's what I'm going, and that's kind of what they're trying to get out of it. <laughs> I think we've had that every single time as well. How do yeah. we sell it? And I'm like, you have to tell people it's going to take a long time. They're like, well, yeah, but then they're not going to pay. Then they don't want to yeah. be fixed or they can go see a doctor. Because you know? yeah, those are the coaches that aren't interested in fixing people. They're right. the coaches that just want to earn a quick buck. Yeah, because right. once in a while we had that question, they well, how do I adapt it to my class? And I was like, well, not right now. You're going to go yeah. home, you're going to work on it, you're going to try on yourself, then you're going to try on your best friends. Right. You're going to mess them up in the process a little bit because you're going to fuck it up here and there. Yeah. And um, then you're going to see how it really works and then you're going to adapt it to your people and it takes time. And But like, why do you, no, we don't, you're not going to come to the seminar and get an eight weeks uh, template out of it that is going to fix all your people. It right. doesn't work like that. We're not, again, we go back to the what all the time. We're not trying to explain to you what to do at all. We're just trying to lay down the principles and we expect you from that to draw the conclusions that leads to better movement. Yeah. That's it. That's as far as this goes. It, this is about learning to move better. That's literally right. the, the point. And uh, there was actually um, a lot of those pure strength and condition guys. Uh, Portugal was interesting for that because we had, um, like in the States, for example, the CrossFit coaches we have right. are only, only CrossFit. CrossFit. That's what they've done, and that's the only thing they've done. Maybe some sports before that or bodybuilding, but they just crossfit. The guys we had in Portugal were strength and conditioning trained. Right. And so, as yeah, in so like six of years of, yeah, of the, you know, the schooling, but like the, you know, very dogmatic, very yeah. uh, uh, science based right. uh, training and everything. And so, every time I came up with a point of something, they said, yes, but I liked it because it allowed me to go into, let me explain to you why I think they're wrong. And then I could right. go into the point. And so, they never disagree on what I said. Their disagreement was always, but that's not what I've been taught. Right. And I was and like, I yeah, be six years of you're school. right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You spend years of your life right. working on that, sleepless night, so much money spent, and here comes a guy who says, nope, yeah. you're wrong. Here is how it works. Right. And it is what it is. But so, but that's really the point of the seminar. Was that it says, look, those are the principles. You can't really say, just apply them. That's yeah. all. But. I think at first what I was f not afraid of, but I thought might necessarily be, be harder, is to get your common people that want that six weeks program to understand the principles and base their decisions on that. And right. we succeed in doing this. That makes me tremendously happy. Right. Because it shows you that I, I think coaches underestimate people. At least the fitness industry underestimates people's intelligence. I yeah. really do. I think they try to sell them, they, they spoot feed them. Uh, usually bullshit answers because they, they assume they're willingly or not that they're not smart enough to get it. Maybe it's a doctor's complex, like, no, we're just so much smarter than you, you can't understand. They want to understand. If we spend this time explaining to them, like we had at the seminars, they're willing to listen. They're lawyer guys. Yeah. He listened very intently. He sent me an email right. saying like he's trying to apply it at home. Right. So I think a lot of those people, they, they want to learn. They just, they can't spend five years going to strength and conditioning to get their PhD, but at right. the same time, it's not necessary. That's the point is we're going to create an entire system to explain how to move correctly, where you don't have to go through six courses you don't want. It's just what is movement, how to move correctly. And that's right. why we see more and more people coming. That makes me happy. People are not stupid. If you just explain to them correctly, no. they, they, they'll do, they are doing yeah. it. It's not even they'll do it. They are doing it. They right. are trying to apply it just on themselves and everything. But it's so uh, that's I think the, the one, one of the problems with the fitness industry is that it's just 
that lack of trust in common people. So right. the best guys always go to train athletes. I'm like, no, go train regular people. Regular people deserve the better coaches as well. Not just, yeah. uh, it's not just the athletes. And I think they, yeah, they, 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 they catch on very fast. Well, I think regular people catch on really fast because there's no years of being yeah. told something else and then having to change their mind. I think it's it's the same thing. Like when you tell people, yeah, you shouldn't have carbs, just have more fats. Type yeah, type scenario, fair, yeah. you know, like maybe you should not have so many processed sugars. What? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait a second. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. wait. The chocolate Don't take good away for the donuts. Me. Yeah, <laughs> we can have a discussion, but it has to stop with let's not take away the yeah. donuts. Uh, <laughs> I need to have my diet coke. Yeah, no, I mean you don't understand. Like it's in the system. Uh -huh. um, but it's the same thing. The, the people that are coming in that have no coaching background, no ego behind it. Yeah. I think that's why they capture it better because they're like, huh, okay, so now I'm going to go apply sense. it. And now all of a sudden I'm not in pain. So now that's the new norm. It's no longer. And that's what surprised me the most is um, those regular people. Once I say something, it goes, oh, that makes sense. That's it. Yeah. They, were, they were on board. Right. All the coaches, they go like, that makes sense, but. Right. But I can't believe that because I've been told for five years. Every single time he was... Which, by the way, if you say but, anything before that does not count. Does not count. Because that's, that's exactly that's what truthful. the but means. <laughs> means that? No. The f yeah, yes, part. exactly. That's, and so we go back to face versus science every time. The difference between face and right. science is the ability to make predictions. That's why I try to catch everybody on the external rotation. How come gymnasts don't do it? Right. Then explain that to me. How come uh, boxers don't then explain? But it's, it's weird that... That, that discussion, that continuous uh, break between their theory and the practical applications. Yeah. I would love to have a conversation with one of those guys that preach external rotation and explain to me how come it doesn't apply to that entire category of athletes. Right. Yeah, I, I think another big one me. was there, we see coming up again, we saw it in, in Portugal as well, was the flexibility versus mobility. Mm. And so yeah, that's that one, one, the hinging, the deadlift, the, yeah, what I'm is mobility? So happen. mobility yeah. is range of motion while maintaining torque. Right. What is torque? Golden nugget for this for the yeah for the video. For the video. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So take a note. Exactly. <laughs> mobility is range of motion while maintaining torque while maintaining rotation. What is torque? Torque is a component of strength. The greater the torque, the stronger you are. So there is a relationship between strength and mobility, and we are trying to explain to them that the only interesting part um, is mobility, not flexibility, right. because you need to move with intention. Whether you're lifting weight on your own body weight, it's with intention that it applies. Right. Without tension, flexibility is useless. So we are trying to explain that the whole, like stretching with a band without tension is useless. Right. And that's a long conversation as well. You have to be able to apply movement. Face versus science. If you cannot apply it, it's useless. That was the only point with external rotation. I'm like, it's not being applied. Right. By top people. Oh God, it's, it's going to be a long conversation like that. We'll win, but it's going to take a little bit of time. That's for sure. But uh, I was very happy uh, with Portugal overall because I thought I like the questions in the sense because we're going to see those questions a lot. Right. And um, I felt by the end of it, we answered them and we got we got them on our side. Yeah. yeah, if you can call it that. Yeah, I so, think so. cool. I like that. It was good. Paulo was super nice. Yeah, Paulo was super nice. Sintra was a gorgeous some, city. Yeah, had some delicious seafood. Yes, we did. It was good. And, and Sintra was one of the most beautiful cities I've ever seen. Yeah. It was, it was really great. It was so awesome. it, it was another great seminar. They, all of them have been very different in, in field, really. Yeah. yeah which I think it's just the change in cultures. That I think too, is part yeah. of it. Like you start changing the people that are coming to the seminar. I think the reaction at the end is the same, but the culture is different. So how they yeah. approach everything is a little, yeah, little it, different. It was funny because you could tell there is such um, an energy to our CrossFit in Portugal, such uh, an excitement, everything that's right. really cool. Yeah. Because nobody's jaded and everything. But since I said certain things that don't necessarily agree with their L1 cert, they, uh, at first it was a little bit of a shock. Right. Speaking of that, I, uh, by the end of the European seminar, we will have, every, I think, like 90% of the HQ staff that, yeah. they, that went through the seminar. So that awesome. was really cool. And they actually agree with all the stuff. There is really yeah. a gap between the sport of, of CrossFit right. and the training system of CrossFit. Yeah. And the L1 is teaching the training system and not the sport. Right. And uh, I think actually we, uh, it's a yeah, lot in line still, with... We're still yeah. following the the beginnings of what Glassman said about keeping constant varying and everything. The only thing we're adding to it yeah. is we're just 
putting in some a couple of different gaps that are that need to be we're just filling certain holes that yeah. were i mean look crossfit changed everything so right. there were so many things to change yeah now there's certain holes that that, that are appearing and i think one of the holes is uh, what is movement right nobody's defining it and so we i think we're just get, uh, filling that hole toward what is movement glassman define what is fitness we're defining what is movement right really but we're not we're not that i would love to have a conversation with greg glassman because i think we would agree on a lot of stuff right. i think we disagree on how to apply certain things but i don't mind because that's a method i, I don't mind discussions about how to apply stuff i don't, I don't really care it's just the principles we talked about either are right or wrong and from what we been talking to the, the staff, a lot of the things strike along the same core. So it was a good one. We have Belfast, no, Bath up next. Bath, Bath first, and then we go Thames, Thames. then we go Belfast, then Thames. we go Brass. We go Thames. Oh, Thames. Ta no, Thames. not Thames. No, Thames. 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 Why is you it so it? difficult for you? I think, I think we can solve this whole thing. Thames. Thames. Thames for you. That's why it's yeah. difficult. <laughs> so it's, it's Thames. Thames. It's thank you, it's not thank you. So, so is it Thames? If you're Irish, if you're um, Irish, if I say thanks. Thames. So if you're Irish, how would you say it? Thanks very much. Thanks very, very much. Oh, I don't, I if any I'm Irish people Irish. write so in about my, my people right there. Yeah. So we can say the, the Irish name Irish Thames. I, I need to work on my accent. Thames. 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 And so after Thames, uh, <laughs> we then we'll go Belfast and then we'll go Graz, Belfast, and then we'll yeah. do an announcement about all the new seminars popping up. Yeah. Because we're gonna be. Which, by the way, if you go to the strong fit link they have all the seminars that are coming up mm -hmm. so i, I yeah, know you got a facebook, few a facebook few page events and we have all yeah. of them all the links are up and everything but we uh on the next uh, on the next vlog we'll explain everywhere we're gonna go from back to the states to back to europe to australia they're selling out fast people so yeah there's a lot of them coming up and so we'll do a list on next vlog i'll do a list with all the dates per uh crossfit box and everything that's cool. gonna take five minutes yeah. But we have a lot of uh, coming up. The tour yeah, is going year. really well. It's going to be a huge year, and then more changes after that. Yeah. We uh, things are happening so fast. I guess we'll uh, we'll tell you as we go. Because honestly, from one month to the next, we can all change. Yeah, it's a whole change in new <laughs> stuff and everything. Like I'm getting better at the whole seminar things too. So I've changed a few things since the beginning, right. and so it's cool. Yeah. It's it's going really well, and overall we're very happy. And man, we get to travel everywhere. Like right now, we're in very uh, hot London, believe it or not. Yeah, which but is not it, cool that you're sweating in London. We're supposed to have rain liars. Coats. I Brits. bought a sweet coat. That's why they're not Europeans anymore, right yeah. there. Uh, but I have to say, London <laughs> is very pretty. You have yeah, beautiful women too, by the way. Damn, there's like girls with afros that big. I like it. Okay, I always thought hipster started in France. I stand corrected. I was wrong. It is totally a London thing. Yes. Like they're all hipsters. It's crazy. We're in East London, darling. What do you expect? Oh, is that where the hipsters start? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like yeah. they're all dressed. I'm like, you guys are sharp, but like hipster shop. Even like, like the coffee shops, the barber shops. There's a barber shop, coffee shop. I like London shop. a lot better. Though I gotta say, like I like the Brits better now. Yeah, yeah I've seen London. Good city. I like the Afros. Uh, there's some beautiful women. Yeah. I, I think I like London. We're here for like two and a half weeks. Yeah. I like it. I like 18 it. days or so. It's Come working back. for me. I like it so okay, far. let's call We're it some time. Okay, so <laughs> we have to ramble. Day. That's the expected from us. Like it's guerrilla yeah, vlog, man. It's, like, uh, it's gonna be strong fit guerrilla vlog. That's how we're gonna call strong it. <laughs> and so we'll be back next week. We'll do a roundup on Bath. On Bath. And I'll probably do a, a small vlog this week to explain. Uh, all the tour coming up and then the setup for Coaches Week and everything. Else. I'll do like a 10 minute vlog about that this week. Anyway. Cool. Okay, cool. In the meantime, we'll see you guys next Have week. Have a good one. Night's getting better. Oh, so much better. See you guys I'm next week. I'm sweating. What the fuck? This is ridiculous. Yesterday was. I, I, I like yesterday.